match. You see, if you don't think, the body can take care of itself in, in, in a situation where the body is uh, in danger. It, it relies upon itself and not your uh, thinking, and not your uh, the intellect at all. See? Otherwise, you are frightened. You know, the so fear makes it difficult for you. That is why when you People ask me, how come you take walks with the cobras? I never did with a tiger or any wild animal. But I don't think I would be frightened of them also. If the, if the fear is not there, you see, the, the fear emits orders, certain orders. So the cobra senses that you are a dangerous thing and so it has to take the first step. If that is not there, they are the most one of the most beautiful creatures that nature has created. Lovable creatures. You can take a walk with them and you can talk talk to them. And they talk back? <laughs> they don't like you. It's a one-way seminar. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Once a friend of mine, a movie star, uh, visited me in that ashram, stayed with me. She asked me, is it, is it is all a hype that the cobras visit you and that you take walks with them? Or what? Uh, she asked me. You to wait until the, the evening or the night, you will be surprised. Mm -hmm. And so we went for a walk at the dusk time. And not one cobra, but wife, children, grandchildren, about 15 of them appeared out of nowhere. The whole family. The whole family. They ran away. <laughs> you know. No, it's, it's, but if they try to play with it, they are in trouble, you see. It's, it's just the fear, you see, that, that is responsible for the situation you find yourself in and create a problem for that because it has to take the first step. And there's nothing we can do about it. Nothing the fear. I mean, it's, it's it, keeps, it keeps you only one person, you and one person, whereas we kill hundreds and thousands of cobras for no reason. And if you destroy the cobras, you see, the, the field mice will have a field day and they destroy our crops. You see, there is a, a tremendous balance in nature. You know? No. If I find a, a cobra trying to harm somebody, a, a child or something, I would tell him, you see, I may not kill it, you see. I tell it, go away. <laughs> you know, it will go away. Uh, but uh, you have to kill. But, uh, but why do you have to kill hundreds and thousands for no reason? The fear that they will, you see, harm us all in the future. Mm -hmm. So we are creating an imbalance in nature. And then you have to kill the field mice. You feed the cats uh, with uh, uh, vitamins and then a special kind of a food. And uh, so if uh, the, uh, the cat tries to kill a, a mouse, field mice, mouse or something, you want to save that. See, what for do you want to save this food? Even the cat does not eat mice anymore, you know? Because it is used to this uh, food from the supermarket, but it still, you see, uh, it plays with that and kills that for no reason, but it leaves it there in the field. It's amazing. I noticed it several times in the starting. The corrupted cats. Corrupted cats by associating themselves with us. All these pits they have, the pets have become uh, uh, like human beings, you see. And, and if you give an identity to the cat, give a name to the dog, to the cat, and the, the, our pets are being conditioned by the same culture. The same culture. Same culture. And we spoil the animals. We spoil really? the animals, uh, unfortunate enough, to become our pets. <laughs> we have covered the <laughs> wasps. We have from the fish to divinity. This is yours, not mine. Would, you would have you like, Would you like to stop? No, you see. It's up to you. This is your property, not mine. I have nothing to do with what I have said, because you brought this out I can see that, from right. me. Yeah. So what you do with it is yours. Mm -hmm. You have the copyright, you have the rights over mm -hmm. whatever has come out of me. I am not saying just for the no, sake no. of saying it. It's yours. I, I would you see, I don't sit here and think about these things at all. At no time. They don't concern you at all. They don't concern me at all. No. You, you come here and throw all these things at me. I'm not actually giving answers. But Look, you see this, I'm trying to focus the whole thing and spotlight this, this is the way you try and you, you look, please look at this way. Then you will be able to find out, you see, the, uh, the solutions for yourself. You know, yourself, without anybody's help. That's all. 
my interest to point out to the people is you can walk, please, throw away all those crutches. Mm -hmm. If he's really handicapped, <clears throat> I wouldn't advise that person. He is made to feel in his handicapped by those people so that they could sell you these crutches. You throw them away and you can walk. That's all that I can see. If you fall, I know, I put it that way, but you are not going to fall. So the handicap is us thinking that we have a handicap and we need... We are made to believe that we are handicapped. And we have <laughs> the modern gurus uh, supply you with but mechanism. But we feel like we're handicapped, like there's this conflict over... The whole thing is, is put in there. But it's there. Where? Where is it? Well, somewhere. There's somewhere I can sort of sense it and feel it and be bothered by it. No, but uh, you, you are giving life to it, you see. We're thinking about these things. Invest them. Mm -hmm. They're all memories. Mm -hmm. They're all ideas. I don't know what memory is. Really, I don't know what memory is. To recall a specific thing at a specific time, we repeated that definition. So students and psychology is much more than that. See? So if, they, if it is all neuron, where are they located? You see, the brain does not seem to be the, the center of our, our memory. The cells have their own memory and and so where, where is that memory, you see? Is, is it transmitted uh, through the genes? Uh, I really don't know. Some of these questions mm -hmm. have no answer to so far, but one of these days probably they will find out. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we, I believe that the problems of the planet can be solved with the help of high tech and technology. But uh, we have a tremendous uh, high tech and technology at our disposal. But the benefits that uh, we have uh, accrued so far have not percolated to the level of all people living on this planet. Mm -hmm. It benefits only a microscopic number of people mm -hmm. on this planet. So people ask me, why you are talking of that? See, even without the help of high tech and technology, it is possible for us to feed 12 billion people. The nature has provided us with such bounty. And why three-fourths of the people are under fed starving? Because we are responsible for that problem. And that is a problem that is facing us all today in Iraq. You know, to dominate and control the resources of the world. That's the naked truth. The rest of it is absolute rubbish. And, and so whether you kill an Iraqi or kill an American, it really doesn't matter, you know. Uh, the President of the United States says, uh, I'm ready to sacrifice a, a few Americans. For what? When these coffins start moving there to America, they will sing a different song. But that's not the point. I'm not on the side of that man or this man. The, the, the reality of the situation is that. So, the other thing is, uh, how do you change a human being and for what purpose? And uh, we are lucky that medical technology uh, will help us to see the condition, you see, of the, the child. If it is handicapped, there is something that can be done to change it, you see. So people have to be thankful to the, the medical technology. So, right, you see. And so the nature is not concerned about one way or the other, you see. If, if you cannot bring the child out, you see, push itself out for some reason. Uh, you can help to bring it out, you see, and add one more person to the, mm. to the population. Yeah. So if the changes uh, are necessary in the human beings and you want them to function differently and free them from all the things that, you see, the ethical culture, the legal structure uh, is trying to, you see, free them and create, you see, a different kind of people than we have today. That's. Uh, is not going to help. Mm -hmm. It has not helped so far. It has not touched anything. Mm -hmm. So maybe through the help of genetic engineering, we will uh, free the individuals from thieving tendencies, from uh, violence, from greed, from jealousy. For what? I don't know. I don't know. For what? what we will check the engineers doing that. The, the engineers are. Uh, they will have the power then. The, the engineers are. Uh, uh, see, helped by the the state. Mm -hmm. So they, they are, they are the, the victims of the state and they are uh, doing this not as they claim for humanitarian reasons, for altruistic uh, re purposes, but for recognition, you know, a noble prize, 
uh, prestigious rewards. So if they find a solution... They will hand it over to the state. And it will only add to the problem. It will, it will become a lot easier for the leaders, mm. see, without question, to go to the, the battlefields and kill people like robots. So that, that's the inevitable. So the, so what is it that we are doing? You see, as I see it, you see, this is uh, my dooms, they saw. There is nothing that you can do to reverse it. To reverse it. Individually, probably, you can uh, jump off the tiger. Mm. And so no matter what you say to that man who is frightened of jumping off or and continuing the, the right tiger's ride, it's not going to help him. See. So actually you don't even have to jump off. <laughs> you continue to ride. There's no problem there, you know. That's, so you are not in conflict with the society because the world cannot be anything different. If I want to be on the top, huh? if it is part of my power game, then I talk of changing the world, I talk of creating heaven on the earth and the paradise on the earth, or when, when I want to know, you know. I, I, we were all made to believe during the Second World War, I was a grown-up individual, they said just then. So what nonsense they talk about, this is a war to end wars. As it ended the war, the wars have been going on and on and on and on. and. Uh, we were made to believe that the first world was world war was you see to make the world safe for democracy. <laughs> Boy, how many uh, totalitarian systems of government appeared after the first world war? We we are all made to believe that you see, if you believe a leader, political leader, or if you believe what the, the, uh, the newspaper man is telling you, we will believe in anything. Mm -hmm. In anything. But even realizing this doesn't change anything. I mean. Changes. Uh, why are you concerned about the world and the other man? No, but it also applies to us. To you, see, even realizing you are, that we're on the on the tiger. I mean, it is not just a realization in that area. You see, this. there is an action. You see, I don't like to use the word freed from all that. It, it, you are not in conflict anymore. There is no way you can bring the conflict to you. That's all. That the conflict is there because of the neurotic situation that the culture has put in there. Mm -hmm. Two things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even realizing that doesn't... How do you realize? The instrument which you well, my have at your disposal my is the same one that is responsible for the neurotic situation. This, this is the, the human situation. It's not a dilemma. That is uh, uh, something yes. which uh, there is no way you can resolve through the instruments you have, but the, we are not ready to accept that that can only create problems, it cannot help us to solve the problem. But even if we are ready to accept that, would that make a difference? No. I mean, intellectually, you can make I it say, this is so, I mean, that is so clear. No, but if it is so, it is not a fact there. To me, it is a fact. It is so means there is no further movement there to do anything about it. I don't know that myself. That's the end of the whole thing. Well, they're, they're, two, they're two different, it is so. I mean, for you, it is so with capital letters. It cannot be, it is so me, for you. And for, no, for me, if it, it is so, uh, you see, that's the end of our dialogue. You are on your own. I can see that. You are on your own. You will not talk about me. If you talk about me, this is another story you are telling. Pick it up somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So what will come out of it is anybody's guess. It will not be the same. What you will say will not be the same. I didn't catch you. If you are lucky enough, you mm -hmm. see, to throw the whole thing out of your system, what mm -hmm. everybody thought, felt, and experienced so before, one can't, one can't throw. You, you cannot. There, there is nothing that you can do about it. See, you don't even complete that sentence. The, the situation is such that you don't even tell yourself that there is nothing that you can do about it. So when I'm saying this to myself, even realizing this, I cannot can do that. It's you can gain still, still, uh, that the, the demand to do something is bound to be there. And which is the problem? That is the problem. Mm -hmm. That's all. To call it hopeless, you intellectually I understand. Mm -hmm. So that is the only way you can understand anything. That's what you are trying now. 
So I can say that that is not the instrument, there is no other instrument. And there is nothing to understand. How this understanding dawned on me, I really don't know, so there is no, if, if I knew that, it would be as worthless as any other thing. You see, I really don't know. So you have to be in a situation where you really don't know what to do about this whole situation. You have not exhausted the whole thing. You know, if you exhaust one, there is always another one, another one, another one. That's and even planning to exhaust it but no. not a disaster. With, uh, yes, it is. Because you can't. To free yourself from that, to put yourself into a state that you really do not know is part of that moment. You see. That's all. Thank you. I think that's enough to say that. Thank you very much. You have brought out a lot. Thank you very much.